leadership is hard. <laughs> it's, it's really um, sucky and hard, um, but really rewarding as well. Um, and it's it's really it's just very odd how like the nature of the difficulty of leadership because um, leadership can be so multifaceted, um, especially Christian leadership is so deep and internalizing because you're you feel a call and conviction from the Lord to do something and you're relaying everything that's happening to Him, but there's a whole other aspect of the real world and, and reality and, and people and relationships that go into it. And so, you know, whenever you think of problems and you think of difficulties in leadership, you get both. You get problems with people and you also get problems um, internally and spiritually. The things that I worried about and the things that I struggled with internally were about outside factors that didn't really exist. Uh, and where that's rooted at, honestly, is in pride. I think that that's a huge thing in, in leadership is dealing with and struggling with pride. So for the past couple of years of my life, I can just remember um, me being called to leadership and the Lord calling me to something and then messing it up because of my pride, literally just all the time messing it up. And then the Lord would come beside me and use me anyway and fix it and clean up after me and walk beside me and go before me. And so I think that he's taught me more than anything, truly more than anything, is that leadership, as, as much as you are involved and as much as your hands are getting dirty and as much as um, there is a, a false praise from other people and as much as there is a struggle alone at night when you're trying to sleep, is that it is so much not about us, especially in Christian leadership. It just has nothing to do with us, I mean, yes, we're putting ourselves out there and yes, we're, we're learning from it, but the Lord comes beside you and He's what really brings meaning to anything as far as leadership. There is one circumstance in which God's power is really made perfect, and that's your weakness. So if you're sitting there and you're saying, I'm too weak, uh, just be the one that goes first and step up and live obediently to the call of Christ and know that you have worked so much and that you are able to truly lead and influence other people in a way that you don't know. And I think that's really the truth behind unobstructed is that you are unobstructed and you, you, you can go forth uh, because someone has, has moved the obstruction out of the way for you. Uh, he, his power is made perfect in your weakness, and you just got to go for it. <laughs>